Everybody knows this. The new Easter update just came out. And as you guys know, there's four units in this crate. There's the Easter Speaker Man, there's the Large Bunny Man, there's the Egg Launcher Cameraman, and of course, there's the Mech Bunny Titan. How do already 6.39k exist? How, how are you guys this lucky? I don't understand. Either way, I know a lot of you guys are thinking the same thing. How good is the weakest unit out of the bunch? The Easter Speaker Man. The one where only 1.93 of them exist. Is this unit strong enough to beat Nightmare Mode? We're gonna go find that out today. Either way, without further ado, if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you press that subscribe button. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by the end of the year. Let's go. You know, I said Nightmare Mode, but let's try the Easter map instead. I think that's more fitting. Uh, bop. Realistically, since this unit is so cheap, we might not need that many Santa TV men. I think getting these guys up to like level 4 will be just fine. I'm also running the squadron with the announcer speaker boy. Did I just say speaker man? That's a cameraman, hopeless. Hello? The announcer cameraman and the DJ speaker man. Also, this is hard to fathom. There is already almost double. No, there is double. There's double the Easter speaker man than there is the announcer cameraman in the game. How does that even make sense? This update's been out for like 12 hours. Also, as per the standard, we have the announcer or the announcer hopeless. Dude, it's late. What are you doing? Go back to the graveyard, dude. Why are you playing TTD at this hour? But no, we're adding the Green Lantern cameraman to our team as well because he's a pretty strong boy. And I think he's going to help us this Easter egg map with the Easter Speaker Man. The Easter Speaker Man does a max damage of 3,875 with a range of 35. I'm hoping that range of 35 mixed in with his AoE will hopefully be enough to take us to the victory, victory land, victory land. Hopeless, you can't speak. But if I'm being honest, I think our biggest issue will definitely be if we even get to wave 60 or not. And when we get there, if we're able to kill the 12 million HP boss, that man is terrifyingly strong. I just hope we have enough of the facilities to beat him. All right, wave nine just begun, and we are gonna start our Easter Speaker Man placing spree. I pointed out before, but the fact that he has a knife and does AOE does not make sense to me, but hey, it helps us in this challenge, so I'm not complaining. So it looks like the Easter Speaker Man is gonna cost 300 to place, 600 to upgrade on his first level up, 1600 on his second, and 2000 on his last level up. Also, I hate when units do this, dude. When they lose DPS to do more cool, like to have a less cooldown and more range, like I get it, it makes sense. It really does make sense. I just don't like it. Hopeless, call the ambulance. Get over it. <sighs> Fine, okay. Stop being so mean. Why is the Easter Speaker Man like if you took Lil Kitty Playtime and mixed it with Skibbity Toilet? Is this supposed to be appealing? It looks like Pokemon, but Skibbity. Do you guys even know who Pokimane is? It's like an e-girl. Or a femboy. What? It looks like right here we have some 80,000 HP toilets, and we were able to kill them. It just took longer than we probably would have liked to have. And I'm actually surprised how little we have of max out Easter Speakerman by this point in the map. By way 15, I would have expected to have at least four of these guys fully maxed out. But we actually only have two. So maybe there is still a little bit of a bright side for this unit after all. I went ahead and placed down all the Easter Speaker Man in the way that I thought was the most economic. It's wave 18 and I got myself a squadron of boys wearing pink pants and oh my god I just realized they have tails. Is the bunny Speaker Man a furry? Hey if they are nothing wrong with it. But can someone leave a comment in Slandrick's video asking him if the new unit's furry? I, I, I'm just asking for a friend. Okay, so this is getting pretty hectic at wave 60. But it looks like we were able to kill a 100,000 HP toilet pretty decently. But it is making me nervous because actually a lot of our Easter speaker boys are already maxed out. That's not really where you want to be. And frankly, their special AoE range isn't that big. Wait, I just realized something. Placing them here might be smarter? Yeah, I- th okay, I think so. Hold on, hopefully this is a bad cook. You guys might not see the vision, but those Easter bunnies right there, in my opinion, I'm pretty sure it makes more sense to have down. I'm pretty sure they get benefited by more range than you realize right there. We also haven't placed down the announcer yet, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. And we're also gonna go ahead and place down the DJ as well. Okay, so far we're doing just fine. We're making it through and we're doing good. Okay, so let's take a, let's do a little bit of a play test. So it looks like these Easter Speaker Men up here are doing... Yeah, 
Yeah, no, it seems like they're probably doing more than the Easter bunnies back here. Okay, I'm gonna start selling them one at a time from back here and slowly placing them up here. Because, like I'm saying, when they're up here, it actually benefits us a lot more. Because they're actually gonna be able to attack more of the track at once. Trust me, trust me, trust me, I'm not making this up. And low-key, with this spread, they're getting off a slight bit more of DPS. The spread there does kind of suck though because we're not gonna really be able to get all of my buffs on them, but we're still gonna try our best anyways. I'm gonna turn off auto skip for a second, maybe just so I can try to effectively get down all of my units. Okay, there we go. This is the team, and I think actually having the Santa TV here have actually been doing us a little bit of a favor. Maybe I should just try to place it in a more effective of a manner. Ah, you know what? I can just place down another buff unit, and that can basically be my stun absorber. Okay, perfect. I'm going to place and keep my green laser back here. I think it'll be smart to help me slow down units in the long run. We've got one last place for our Easter Speaker Man right there, and he's fully maxed out. And we're now at wave 32, halfway to victory. Place your comments down below right now. We now cannot upgrade anymore. This is our max. Everything is maxed out. All of these guys are inside of the buff. That one's not. That one's completely out of the range of both of them. Okay, so we're going to want to probably get that inside of the buff range. Yeah, so it's AoE isn't going to be doing that much, but at least it's still going to be attacking far. So with the minus 20% cooldown and the 15% damage boost, this unit is going to be doing closer to 5,000 damage per second realistically. But if it had just a slight bit more range, like 50, I think this would almost be guaranteed a lockup for our units. But since the range is only 35, it might be a little bit closer than expected. But as I was saying earlier, guys, the placement of my Easter Bunny like I have right now is going to be way smarter than you thought I had before because now all of these toilets coming down this way get eat up and soaked up all this damage on this bridge moving up and down and all the way back up too. But if I actually want to give myself a really good chance of beating it, I probably should start churning off auto skip and taking on the waves one by one. We got a big O boss toilet 3.0 stack right here of 600,000 HP toilets. But to no one's surprise, we do a oh, we do take them out with quite a bit of ease. I think it can be done, but this might be one of the most grueling processes I ever needed to go through in my entire life. This is gonna take forever. So we were able to take out all those 700,000 HP toilets. We have a bunch of 500,000 HP ones coming in. Let's see what we can do. Every single one of these waves from now on is going to feel like a whole James Bond mission. They're all going to take at least like two minutes each. Great. Without the Green Lancer cameraman, this would be impossible. Those infected would definitely run all the way down the conveyor belt. Also, one thing I'm not thrilled about, this booster unit is not absorbing as much damage as I was hoping he would. Why can't you just soak up more blood for me, buddy? Be my human meat shield. Okay, so how far do the giant dual blade toilets make it down the conveyor belt? I think we're gonna kill them, but guys, I might just rip it off like a band-aid and let the auto skip run. I'm not too sure this is looking too good for the Easter speaker man. I think with this build, if we just kept off auto skip and did them waves one at a time, I think the farthest you could probably go with this team is probably right around wave 45 is my guess. So let's go ahead and see, run the auto skip test. How far are we going to be able to get with the Easter boy speaker man? Oh wait, no, wave 40 might have just been the end of us anyways. Yeah, no, I think wave 39 was enough for us regardless. So yes, it looks like with the Easter Speaker Man, you can make it two-thirds of the way to the end. But hey, we still get a little bit of a consolation prize of 1, 2, 3, 123 eggs. I will take that. Either way, without further ado, thank you guys so much for watching this video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my maxing out of this Battle Pass video yesterday. And I'll see you guys again tomorrow with another awesome video. Check out the videos on the screen already if you haven't checked them out. And as always, bye!